extra thick. What's poppin' YouTube? Extra Thick Games here, back again with a video that I have to admit, I honestly did not think that I would be making this early into the channel's lifespan, okay? This is a bit of an update video on how this channel is going to work. When I launched the channel, you know, just a few days ago, I had planned on uploading all the time. I mean, like, every day, sometimes even multiple times a day. In the first two days that the channel was up, I had uploaded four whole videos. But that's going to have to change just a little bit, and let me tell you why. In addition to what I do here with playing, with playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, with playing Smash Bros, with watching all these animes, and making videos for your enjoyment, I do work a full-time job. Now, I know doing this as a full-time job is everyone's dream, but uh, you've got to make the money until you're able to do that kind of thing self-sufficiently. And out of the blue, totally unexpected, at that job, I received a promotion one day. I was called in early, just yesterday, really. I was called in early, and here I was thinking I was about to get chewed out or something, and lo and behold, I was getting promoted, which was fantastic news now, don't get me wrong, but my hours at that, at that place are going to increase dramatically, as well as the pay, though. That's the, that's the big important part. So I'm not going to necessarily have as much time as I would like to to discuss these games and these animes with you all like I, like I really enjoy doing, but I do think that this is still a good thing because this is going to make me kind of slow down a little bit. I can count twice in those first four videos where I made two very, very large slip-ups. In the first video that I even made, right, the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains episode 71 review, I didn't even get the name of the channel right when I introduced myself. You can tell just how rushed I was to get this off the ground. And then in my first deck profile, the, uh, the Dark Lords, I mentioned that I had topped several times with the deck, but a slight slip up of the tongue I said that I had topped several regionals with the deck, when, as a matter of fact, it was actually events that were significantly smaller. My locals is where, is where I topped several times with that deck. But amazingly, after I had posted that video, not even 12 hours of it being up, someone called me out for that comment immediately, right? They were saying how... It was really funny. They were they were talking about how um they wanted to see my my slip for the event, right? They wanted to they wanted proof that I had topped a regionals with Dark Lords. And I'm like, what slip? What are you what are you talking about? And then I re rewatched the video and realized what a huge slip of the tongue I had made. I talked to the person and thanked them incredibly. It was I am very, very grateful that they watched my video that soon after it was published so that I could catch that and try to correct it before, um, <laughs> before too many other people saw it and thought that I was, you know, lying to the community because that's not what I want to do at all. And even, <laughs> even if I did, I wouldn't do something so stupid as to lie about topping an event with such a with such a high place when there are easily accessible records of things like that <laughs> please please trust me when i say I'm, i i don't want to deceive you guys i just i just want to show you how to play some of these more unusual decks to the most competitive level that they can be at but um Anyway, more to the point, I would say that instead of posting every day, maybe 
multiple times a day, I'm still going to be posting fairly regularly. Don't think that this means that that we're, we're not here being thick anymore. No, not at all. I'm just saying that um, it'll probably be more like three times a week, maybe two if it's a particularly busy week. I'm still going to post weekly reviews of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, but um, things like the Dragon Ball Super Dub reviews that I was talking about making that might have to be uh, held, held, put on hold for a little while, or indefinitely. And I'm okay with that sacrifice because the show has already completed its run in Japan. We all kind of know what happens in the show. It, it, it would be redundant to review something that's already happened, in my personal opinion. But again, as I said, I think that this is a good thing overall. It's making me slow down, really think about the content that I want to post more, make, making me want to make it as good as I possibly can, because I'm not going to be able to just upload several times every single day, so it's going to make me want to put, to make the most out of what I do upload in these two to three times every week. Not to mention that with this massive pay increase that I'm about to receive, I can learn YouTube, I can learn technology more, I can increase the quality of these videos for your viewing pleasure exponentially, not to mention that, that kind of, those kind of finances are going to help me help me play these games even more and get what I need to bring any deck that we that we want to talk about, that we want to play to its highest potential. It'll help me be able to afford to go to more tournaments for you to, and really this is this losing that much time is not necessarily a bad thing. I to simplify everything, this is quality over quantity of content. I'm sorry if um, if I stuttered a lot, if this seemed a little unorganized. This was an unscripted video. I just wanted to bring you guys uh, a real quick update about the channel. And as always, y'all, stay thick. Shout out to Dragon Con Atlanta for this amazing Super Smash Bros. beer mug. Extra thick!